time a chemical reaction will, ha will happen in your mouth. Eh. Does that sound slightly scary? Yeah. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Now, acids are in lots of different foods. So first of all, let's give you a little acid taste and you can tell me what the experience is. Ah, oh, look at that face go! So the action of acid on your tongue is that sensation of sourness, okay? Loads of foods like tomatoes and, fr and fruit and everything like that. There's loads of them that are very um, acidic. There's not many foods that they're alkaline or very alkaline, but this is bicarbonate of soda. We'll see if we can make this water alkaline. Or oh, more, more, good. Okay, so first of all, let's have a little taste of alkaline. <laughs> it's horrible. <gasps> now this is a pH meter, okay? This tells us how acidic something is. 7.2. 7.2. So it should be about 7 if it's neutral, if it's not acidic or alkaline. Okay, so water is neutral and then... Bicarbonate of soda. 8.6. 8.6. 8 the lemon juice we got there. 2.6. Okay, so you see 7, seven is, is, is the middle where it's neither acidic or alkaline. Uh, that was eight point something, which means it's alkaline. That was lower than seven, so that's 2.6, and that's really acidic, okay? Do you wanna have a drink of that? No. No, we don't. Okay. okay, so first of all, I'd like you to put uh, two teaspoons of bicarb into there. Okay, and then two teaspoons of citric acid. Now, citric acid is basically the acid that's in lemon juice but made into a sort of powder form. I'm going to do seven of these, and this is icing sugar. One, two, three. <laughs> what have you got there, Pops? Did you just lick your finger? Uh -huh. And what's that sensation? Oh, horrible. That is the citric acid, so it's sour again, isn't it? Super sour. Okay, let's give it a good stir around. Eh? This is a special treat. Okay, you ready for this? Okay, in you go, three, two, one. That's quite fizzy. <laughs> Do you know what this is, Pops? Eh? Uh. This is sherbet. Mm. You've made sherbet. Mm. Yeah. Now, we put quite a lot of bicarbonate soda in there, so it's quite a soapy sherbet. Can you feel that sort of soapy sensation in your mouth? Well, you put a little bit on your tongue, and that sort of fizzing that you get on your tongue is the fact that you have kick-started a chemical reaction which is called an acid-base reaction. Now, what we made here, Pops, was a sherbet with loads of bicarb. It's a bit too alkaline. So if you want to make your own sherbet, the correct ratio is one tablespoon of bicarb, three tablespoons of citric acid, which is the sourness, and then seven tablespoons of icing sugar. And you can get citric acid um, off the internet really, really easily. Um, so make your own, it's dead easy, and uh, you can have the reaction going off in your own mouth. <gasps> so as a little treat, another acid-base reaction. Yes! Yes! She loves these acid-base reactions. Okay, so first of all, uh, about a centimeter of lemon juice in there. And then we put a piece of loo roll over the top, just half a piece of loo roll. Oh, I've got a soapy taste in my mouth still. Uh, the bicarbonate soda on the top. Perfecto. You can push it down a little bit with the spoon as well. Push, push it down. That's it. Lid on nice and firmly. Okay, Pops, do you want to turn it over? Yeah. Okay, step back, baby, step back, step back. Come here. Come here. And so inside there, oh, same reaction. Oh my god! Mummy's gonna kill us. Uh, thank you very much for watching. That's what happens when you eat sherbet. You start off an acid base reaction in your mouth. Poppy, what do you say? Thank you for watching if you have watched this YouTube video and please subscribe. Please subscribe. Alright, thank you very much.